In two short decades, between 1980 and 2000, the number of people incarcerated in our nation's prisons and jails soared roughly 300,000 to more than 2 million. The Supreme Court interpreted the Fourth Amendment to support police officers in their ability to target racial minorities, especially related to the war on drugs. This is one of the reasons many people of color are being incarcerated. According to Michelle Alexander, by the end of 2007, more than 7 million Americans, or one in every 31 adults, were behind bars, on probation, or on parole. As the Supreme Court interprets the Fourth Amendment to support more aggressive searches, we see not only an increase in arrest and jailing for minor drug offenses, but also harassment of communities of color. And I was walking up the block. I made the left on New York Avenue. I was just waiting outside. And then the cops just pulled up. And they were like, oh, what are you doing? I was like, I'm waiting for my friend. And they was like, he lives here. And I was like, yeah. In New York, black and Latino males ages 14 to 24 are 4.7% of the city population. But they were 42% of stops in 2011. In fact, there were more stops of young black males than there were young black males in the city. The Fourth Amendment originally enforced the notion that each man's home is his castle, secured from unreasonable searches and seizures of property by the government. It protects against arbitrary arrest and is the basis of the law regarding search warrants, stop and frisk, safety inspections, wire traps, and other forms of surveillance, as well as being central to many other criminal law topics and to privacy law. Um, they went through my book bag, threw my stuff on the ground and all that. They were just asking me questions, being rough with me. In 2009, more than half a million New Yorkers were stopped and 87% of them were black and Latino. And amongst 36% of stops, officers did not list acceptable suspected crimes. Telling me where I'm gonna end up. You wanna end up in jail? And then they both became very aggressive. I'm um, searching in my pockets, turning me around and pushing me, like forcing my legs open, like yanking me. So at that moment, I, I don't know, I mean, frightened, I was definitely frightened. Um, In Terry v. Ohio, decided in 1968, the Supreme Court modified the understanding, but only modestly by ruling that if and when a police officer observes unusual conduct by someone the officer reasonably believes to be dangerous and engaged in criminal activity, the officer is entitled for the protection of himself and others in that area. Because of this case, police officers are now allowed to stop and frisk anyone they choose without a warrant. 